Hi, this is Quantum Mat. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I will show you uh, an easy way how you can uh, backtest uh, trading strategies in Python with a backtrader library. And I believe that backtrader library is one of the best libraries in Python to do that. It's really um, flexible and it's quite easy to use. So let's start. So first of all, I already create a notebook and I already imported some libraries. So I, I imported backtrader libraries itself, SBT, and also I imported analyzers from backtrader libraries and I will use these analyzers to compute some uh, metrics based on uh, based on my backtesting results. And also imported matplotlib just to plot results of my uh, backtesting and also I use I imported date time just um, to work with uh, datas in uh, Python. So just let's execute it to import them and let's go to a strategy. To backtest a strategy in Bactrader library, you have to create a class for it. And it might sound complicated, but I will show you an example and you will see that it's actually not so complicated. So here I have like an empty class for my strategy. So as you can see, I have like move and average cross strategy. And in the simplest uh, case, you have to define at least two functions for your, um, your strategy, two methods uh, for your class. So first method is init uh, method. And this method will be run only once for your strategy. And there you should initialize your strategy basically. So what you can do, you can calculate different uh, indicators um, signals and so on and after that in in the next method you have to specify logic for orders so when uh, your engine should enter and exit uh, positions so um, um, let's first let's go and define init function so I have, I have like moving average strategies so first I have to compute my uh, moving averages so I will use um, uh, internal um, back trader uh, indicators so it has many of them you can check the documentations for all of them but I will use just simple moving average for now and I will use uh, like first for fast moving average I will use period of 10 and for uh, slow I will use period of 50 let's say and after that I will create like self uh, dot crossover variable and in this variable I will store uh, kind of crossover signals for my strategy. I will use also internal uh, backtrader internal um, indicator crossover, and here I will just list my uh, two moving averages: moving average fast and moving average slow. So I'm using here self uh, dot like prefix for my uh, for my variable, and this basically will uh, make it available across my class for for other functions. So if I do that, after that, in the next uh, uh, next method, I can use uh, this variable to uh, to compute kind of signals, basically. So first, so now, now let's go to the next uh, functions and let's go and define it. So uh, first of all, let's check that if currently we have no uh, position and um, uh, if we have no position and also we see like a bullish uh, crossover so we can check that as crossover is above zero we'll go and say to our um, um, our um, kind of engine that we have to go and buy uh, stock so actually I can, we can check that with uh, we can do that with self dot buy function so as you can see it's quite easy and now let's check that okay we currently we have uh, no position but if we also see like a bearish crossover we will go and uh, close our position you can do this as simple as that so if you have no position and you have like a bullish crossover you enter long position if you um, if you are not you're in position and you see like a bearish crossover you close your position as you can see logic for for our strategy is quite simple. So now let's execute it and uh, now let's go to an engine. To create an engine in a back trader, you can use a following uh, command. So I will create a Cerebro engine and uh, to do that, you just need to call uh, bt.cerebro a method and that's basically it. Now you have your engine up and running. So now let's go and look at data. So of course we cannot uh, calculate any backtesting without the data. So we have to get it from somewhere. 
in Bacteria, you have a bunch of data feeds available to you, but I will use probably the simplest one. I will get data straight from the Yahoo Finance. So I will create a variable called data and I will assign it to uh, bt.feeds.yahoofinancedata. So here it is. And here I have to specify a few parameters. So first of all, I have to specify a uh, symbol. So we'll use Apple, for example. I have to specify from what and to what data I want to get data from. I will use a date time function. And let's say I want it from uh, 2010. And I want it uh, to, let's say, 2020. Here I have to specify that it's to date. So that's it. And now we have to add data to our engine. So I will uh, use um, Cerebral Engine and function add data. And here I will just specify my data. So that's quite simple. Let's execute it. And as you can see, we have our data. So it uh, has like data finance feed uh, type, but it's now it's loaded into our engine. So now let's add strategy we created to our engine. So, okay, so I think I forgot here self. So let's, uh, to, to add a strategy to, to an engine, you can use a simply uh, cerebral um, dot add strategy and just uh, paste your strategy kind of uh, class name to this function. And that's it. So we have our strategy inside our, um, our, our engine. So basically we can actually right now run this strategy, but let's go extra mile and add a few more pretty useful things. So first of all, you can uh, change um, you know, like your beginning balance, your initial capital. So for that, you can use a server dot broker dot set uh, cash function. And let's put here, I don't know, $1 million. And um, that's it. It's done. Um, also, what you can do is you actually can change the way um, um, engine will, will size your position. So I think by default, it will trade only like one one share but if you don't want that you can change it pretty easily with um with the, the function cerebral uh, dot at sizer and here you actually can um can choose one of the default sizers and but also you can create your own sizer if you want i will use a standard one so it's it's a bt uh, sizers and um here is percent sizer and uh percent I will use 10 as percent so basically I will invest 10 percent of my uh, capital into position so let's execute it okay so it seems like sizer okay so it's done so um, the last thing I will do here I will add a few analyzers so as I told you kind of important this stuff I can um, add some analyzers to calculate some metrics and statistics based on my backtesting strategy so what you can do here is you can use cerebra.analyzer and uh, here you can choose um, some um, kind of analyzers available in uh, in Bactrader um, uh, library as well, but you also can build your own analyzers. So I will select a few of them. So let's start with the sharp, for example, and here I need to specify um, name. I will use in my code for this stuff. So I will use just call this sharp. Let's add a few more analyzers so you can go for um, for transactions, for example, and just let's call it transactions. Also here you can go for trade analyzer and just call it trades. So let's execute this. So that's done. Now let's go and uh, run our, 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 our engine. To run it, you just go for cerebra.run function. And that's it let's call it and see how it looks so it seems to work but now we will just run it again and i'll just apply a sign you know results of the strategy to uh, to a variable it will be a bit useful after that so we have uh, results for our strategy but now let's go and check its performance so the, the easiest way you can do is go to cerebral um, broker and you can go and get uh, value this will get kind of end value of your your basic capital so it's, it seems like we earned like about 20 percent on our uh, 1 million so it's not so bad it's not very good across like 10 years 
but um, that's not so interesting. Let's go and look at our analyzers. So as I said, you just you saved like this is your CAD results for back testing. You can go and ex go and uh, get like the first element of back testing, and after that you can go and call analyzers. So analyzers uh, now use your names you assign to your analyzers, and after that call get anal analysis for it. So that's it. Let's kind of execute that. And as you can see, we have sharp of 0.5. That's not bad for a random strategy. So let's go and check other analyzers. So um, let's go for transactions and let's execute that. And as you can see, you have detailed information about your transactions, just like, you know, like date of uh, your transactions, you know, PNL and other stuff. So it's quite um, useful. Let's go for the third analyzer and um, this is trades. Um, so basically, uh, this analyzer will go, you know, like about your about your trades and do some analysis about PNL, total trades, and other stuff. So you can find here quite a lot of useful information. You can find much more analyzers in documentation, and uh, just go and look how, what you want to do. You can create like custom um, analyzers, but I think you can find quite a lot of interesting stuff in. Um, in, in, in documentations, and I don't think you will want to create your own stuff in many, many cases. So let's go and plot stuff. Um, so a server also has uh, like a function uh, called plot, and you can basically plot very quickly kind of basic information about you know, your strategy and your performance. So here you can see in the bottom, you can see uh, this is like a uh, price of, of the Apple share, I think, and um, here on the top you see your performance so you can see you know like signals you know pnl so the trades quite a lot of stuff is here so just you can spend some time investigating what's going on i think it's quite a nice plot to quickly understand what's going on so i think in general back trader is quite a nice uh a library you can use to quickly backtest your strategies as you can see, it's not so complicated. It's just like few lines of code. It's not, you know, like so demanding of your time. You know, like learning curve is not so 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 high for for the back trader. So I think it can be really good start for you to start working with a back testing in Python. So I think that's all for this video. Thank you for watching. See you.